Good morning. It's 444 right now. While the U.S. and China have seemed to call a temporary truce in the high-stakes trade war, the impact of Beijing's retaliatory tariffs is still being felt right here in North Alabama. According to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, more than 560,000 Alabama jobs are supported by trade. And an astounding $3.3 billion in Alabama exports are threatened by Chinese tariffs. I took a closer look at the impact on some of those stuck in the middle of the existing trade war with jobs on the line. Here at Tate Farms in Meridianville. When does the season start? Oh, it'll start about the uh, 1st of April. Cotton has been a way of life for generations. It's a lifetime dream for me to be a part of this. Mike Tate has invested millions of dollars into his family's operation. Very expensive. And for a while, business was actually cranking up. That is until President Trump announced high tariffs or taxes against one of our major trade partners, China, a country Tate desperately relies on to purchase his top crop. When we first heard about it, it was, it was like, oh no, not now. Not when we have things going our way and this happens. Did you feel kind of a, a punch in the gut? A little bit, yes, exactly. That's yeah. exactly right. Tate estimates that China's retaliatory tariffs against U.S. products has cost his farm hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's a struggle, but so he's willing to tough it out. It is business. It's, it is good business. Uh, we need to have these agreements in place uh, so that our, our trade will be more free and more fair. I've said many times that the way the farm economy goes, I think, has an impact on the overall economy of the state. Mitt Walker is Affairs the director of the Alabama Farmers Federation. Day. He points to these figures, over a billion dollars in exports of Alabama commodities going to China. Millions of that in poultry, cotton, and soybeans alone. But when it costs more for farmers to export, that could negatively impact all of us locally. When you think about um, purchases of feed, seed, fertilizer, transportation, electricity, all of the things that go into producing a crop have a trickle-down effect. You know, the gas stations in the neighborhood, the grocery stores, so certainly any disruption in their economy would have an impact on the overall economy. Six days ago, I replaced NAFTA. A way to bypass new China US is find new Canada trade partners. The president recently signed the new Mexico-Canada trade agreement, which opens up Alabama farmers to new markets. But finding a new market isn't necessarily an option for global companies like AdTran here in Huntsville. Your ability to communicate on your phone, on the internet, and stay connected is all dependent on what they produce here using high-priced Chinese parts. So we have here our, uh, our placement equipment. AdTran so executive Jerry Kelly invited me inside their manufacturing center, where the recent trade war with China is literally playing out inside these computer boards. Adtran made the decision to bite the bullet, paying for higher priced Chinese components because it's harder for them to find elsewhere. At this point in time, it's a cost that you have to bear. And keeping the assembly lines rolling during a trade war means saving 1,500 Huntsville jobs. That's true. For Regina McKenney, who's been working at Adtran for over 20 years, that commitment is a lifesaver. Good to have a company like this. That's, that's willing to do everything they can to keep us employed. Keeping McKenney and others employed here may be getting a bit easier these days for Adtran and other companies, now that it appears that we're beginning to get past the worst of the trade war. With the stroke of the pen, President Trump signing a new preliminary trade agreement with China. That Anywhere new in the world, phase one far. trade deal by both countries reduces costs for Chinese products while promising American farmers that China will spend billions of dollars on commodities. But before we get too excited, here's a word of caution. A lot of the reason we're in the situation we've been in with China is because they've not always held up to, to what they've committed to. So I think enforcement is going to be extremely important in this agreement to make sure they follow through with those commitments. In Huntsville, Pat Simon, Way 31 News.